हाई फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू शंकर नये स्टडी सर्कल दिस इज डाक्टर हरिनाथ रेड्डी डायरेक्टर ऑफ द इंस्टिट्यूट टूडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोसीजर फॉर द क्रिएशन और अबॉलिशन ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल रिमेंबर एज ऑफ नाउ देर आर सिक्स स्टेट्स which have got a bicameral state legislature what do you mean by bicameral state legislature a state legislature which contains two houses upper house and lower house at the state level the upper house is called a legislative council the lower house is called a legislative assembly what are these six states uttar pradesh bihar andhra pradesh telangana maharashtra and karnataka are the six states which have got bicameral state legislature so leg legislative assembly as well as legislative council if you take the story of andhra pradesh for the state of andhra pradesh a legislative council was created in 1957 for the state of andhra pradesh a legislative council was created in the year 1957 subsequently it was abolished in 1985 when when mr nt ramarao was the chief minister of the state of andhra pradesh legislative council was abolished but subsequently after dr vyasar rajashekar reddy became the chief minister of andhra pradesh again it was created in 2007 then again the son of mr vyas rajashekar reddy that is vyas jagan mohan reddy when he is the chief minister in 2020 the legislative assembly has passed a resolution for the abolition of legislative council in the state of andhra pradesh so this is the history of andhra pradesh when it comes to legislative council similarly tamil nadu tamil nadu had a legislative council till 1986 in 1986 the legislative council of the state of tamil nadu was abolished subsequently In 2010, in 2010, Tamil Nadu State Legislative Assembly has passed a resolution for the creation of a Legislative Council. Accordingly, Indian Parliament has enacted a law for the creation of Legislative Council. But uh, very soon, in the next year, in 2011, again the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly has passed a resolution for not having Legislative Council. So. in the state of tamil nadu legislative council is not created on the other two states which had legislative council till 1969 till 1969 were punjab and west bengal so in the state of punjab and west bengal till 1969 they had a bicameral state legislature in the year 1969 legislative council was abolished in these two states punjab and west bengal then let us see what is the procedure for abolition or creation of legislative council if you see the constituent assembly debates relating to legislative council some of the members of the constituent assembly felt that it is not necessary to have an upper house at the state legislature the reason being if there is an upper house at the state level it will unnecessarily delay in the law making process in addition to this this will be an unnecessary financial burden on the taxpayer but some members of the constituents some members of the constituent assembly argued in favor of having a legislative council but finally the constituent assembly finally took a decision that the power to create a legislative council the initiative to create a legislative council or to abolish a legislative council is given to the legislative assembly so in other words the creation with respect to the creation or the abolition of the legislative council the initiative can be taken by the concerned state legislative assembly in other words unlike rajya sabha which is a permanent house the position of the legislative council is not permanent it can be either created or abolished or the sweet will of the concerned state legislative assembly so in other words the existence of the legislative council in a state is at the sweet will of the concerned state legislative assembly 
then what is the procedure prescribed for creation or abolition of legislative council the constitution says if the legislative assembly passes a resolution by a majority of the total membership and also two thirds of the members present and voting that it is either necessary to create a legislative council or it is necessary to abolish the legislative council then this resolution will be forwarded to the union government then the union parliament through an ordinary law can either create or abolish the legislative council can either create or abolish the legislative council so this is what is prescribed under the indian constitution so the initiative must be taken by the assembly with a special majority and agreed to by the union government and the parliament must pass an ordinary law providing for either creation or abolition of legislative council at the state level so this is the procedure which is prescribed under the indian constitution with respect to the creation or abolition of legislative council do legislative council does not enjoy the status of the rajya sabha at the state level because in case of disagreement between loks in case of disagreement between lok sabha and rajya sabha with respect to an ordinary bill there is a provision for joint sitting but at the state level even with respect to an ordinary bill if there is disagreement between the assembly and the council there is no provision for joint sitting the assembly can override the legislative council by passing it again for the second time with a gap of 3 months and waiting for one more month so legislative council has remained as a weak chamber and ineffective chamber at the state level and the position of the legislative council cannot be compared with the position of rajya sabha because rajya sabha had equal powers with respect to an ordinary bill between lok sabha and rajya sabha it has got equal powers even with respect to a constitutional amendment bill so despite this legislative council does serve a useful purpose what is that so the legislative board of the state legislative assembly can be shared by the state legislative council in addition to this the state legislative council can allow certain professionals and experts to get represented in the legislative council so that will further increase in the quality of the work done by the legislative council in addition to this the legislative council to a limited extent can also delay the passage of an ordinary bill by keeping the ordinary bill pending initially for 3 months and subsequently for one more month so this will also help the legislative council to act as a revising chamber at least in a limited sense so that the hasty and the ill conceived legislations by the legislative assembly can be delayed at least for a brief time in the legislative council which is the upper house in addition to this the legislative council also gives representation to the local governments it gives representation to the graduates it gives representation to the teachers whose grievances can be better represented in the legislative council so these are certain benefits of having legislative council so finally it is left to the will and wish of the concerned state legislative assembly whether to have it or not so that's it about the procedure for the creation of a legislative council at the state level thank you